All right, this is a nice truck. We got a 2008 F350 single wheel to one ton. And of course, we have our B&W turnover ball hitch right here. This is our gooseneck hitch. Again, two boxes. You know it's color coded for Ford because it's black. Both boxes better have black labels on them. Remember, read the instructions, open the kit, lay it all out. First thing we're gonna do is measure for our four inch hole. You wanna read every set of instructions and make sure the instructions are for the car and truck you're working on because guess what? They change and you don't wanna make, make a mistake, cut a hole and then find out you didn't read the instructions. For 99 through 08, F250, F350 short and long bed super duties, uh, 47 inches. So we're gonna measure 47 inches back. Remember, if you have a spray in bed liner, measure and see if how thick it is and allow for that if it lifts over the edge. So 47 inches, double check that. We'll make our mark. Okay, now what we wanna do is measure again between the wheel openings and half that. Try to get your, your measuring square. 50 and a half, 25 and a quarter. So from here I'm gonna measure 25 and a quarter, which is conveniently right in the middle of this bed rail right here. Come across here. So there we go. Now we're ready to center punch and drill our hole. All right, now, once you got the center punch in, Time to drill a hole, but double check your measurement. Always do that. Again, it only takes a second. Just think about the carpenters that do this. Okay, we're 47. Look back at the instructions, 47 inches. We're ready to go. Again, before I go in there with my hole saw, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole with a smaller drill than the hole saw pilot. Helps to line it up. All right, now, once you've got that done, here's a neat little device you may want to make. This is a piece of three quarter inch plywood with a four inch hole drilled in it. You know, it's easy for a hole saw to walk around. You want to set that on there. Once you put your hole saw in place, you can stabilize it. And if you use a good hole saw and you work it right, you'll be in great shape. Now, this is a Starrett. They make really good hole saws. It's one of the best ones we found. Here's a little tip. If you take a sponge and cut it so it fits inside, put some cutting oil on there or some lubricating oil, it'll you've really increase the life of the teeth on your hole saw. And of course, that'll make it go a whole bunch better. So I'll put this in here. I'll put a little bit of lubricating oil on it and I'll be ready to shoot this. All right, now we've got this out. You can see how well that worked. That saved the hole saw from walking all over the place. What I'm gonna do is take and deburr this, particularly on the bottom side of the bed. That's where the sharpest edges are gonna be. Again, take a little bit of uh, touch-up paint and touch up the raw edges. That'll prevent any rust from forming. Now we're ready to go ahead and start underneath. All right, once you've got the heat shield off, next thing we're gonna do, we're following the instructions. Step number four is to lower the exhaust. You can see in this uh, F-350 here, this is an 08, huge exhaust system on it. Got a bracket here at the back of the tailpipe. I want to take that down. Some have one, some have two bolts. This 08's got two bolts. Now we're going to put a bracket on it and put it back up, but that comes later. Again, following the instructions. Once we've got the exhaust lowered, then it'll be real simple. We can put the truck down a little bit and install our cross members. All right, now we're putting our cross members in. I've got the rear one in. Here's a tip. Use a crescent wrench to roll them up flat against the bottom of the bed. That works good. Again, following the instructions, they talk about cutting a notch right here to get these in. Again, this kit fits 99 and later Ford trucks on this 08. There's a little dip in the frame, so we actually have clearance. It's tight, but you can slide the cross members in without having to make the notch. So again, read the instructions, but always test. And when you look at these cross members, there's two different ones. This one has two notches in it one on each end, okay? The one that goes in the back, that has three notches, that's how you identify it. And you can see this flange faces forward with the uh, oval shaped holes. When we put this one in, when it's in there, it's gonna roll like this. Again, it's gonna face our side mount there. We slide this in, we'll go over our shock absorber, there we go. Didn't have to notch. 
Always read the instructions. I'll roll this in place. We'll position them following the instruction to give you an approximate position. And the next thing we'll do, we'll put our side mounts in. So let me roll this up in place. Now this is a clamp. Looks like a C. This is included in the kit. Here's the nice part about BMW's turnover ball hitch. No cutting, no welding, no drilling. You're not going to avoid any warranties. This 08's got a little different frame. That's why you want to follow the instructions. First thing it says, take this clamp. Right up here, you slide it around, you thread it over the chassis like this. Comes up here like that. Now we take our side plate. We tuck the bottom of the side plate in, line it up with the stud. That'll stay right there. And we'll put our nut and washer on it. The next step is take a nut and washer and put this together at the bottom of the side plate to the C-clamp. And you can see how it's all starting to come together. Makes it nice and strong, hooks it all around the frame. And again, no drilling and welding. We're not tightening anything up now, just finger tight, lining things up. And now we've got another step. And that is, there's a large bolt and a pipe spacer. We're going to go behind this. It's a little tricky here, but if you just hold it up like that, there's a large hole already in the chassis. You slide this through, and we've got a nut, a flat washer, and a lock washer for the other side. Put that on, and again, just finger tight, because once these are on both sides, now we can go after our center section. I don't want to wear out the instructions, but you've got to follow them. They're your best friend. Now, earlier the instructions directed us to loosen the bracket at the rear of the tailpipe. You need some clearance, so I just took a piece of stock here, pulled it to the exhaust system down, propped that up against the spring. We'll deal with that when we're done. Now, next thing we're going to do is take our center section up, and of course what we want to do is make sure the center section, the part with the spring and the handle, goes towards the driver's side. So you lift this up over the exhaust pipe, thread it over this little brake hose, we got slotted holes, the bolt with the, the flat washer is going to go there. We'll put this in and we'll put our nuts and bolts up and bolt it in place. Those really take a little beef. Those bolts torque to 120 foot-pounds. Remember, we assembled it all, we left it loose, we got everything put together. Step nine, tighten the hardware. Make sure you follow it, follow the torque specs. I know you're going to want to take an impact gun and zip everything up. Don't do that. Use a torque wrench. And it's a sequence. Again, first thing it tells you to do is the cross-section bolts, tighten those to 80 foot-pounds, or the half 13 bolts. All right. Then the next thing is tighten the uh, center section side plates right here. That's that big bolt. Tighten that to 120 foot-pounds. Then, of course, these will all be uh, 80 foot-pounds, except for the bolt it's on the stud coming off the C-clamp, that's going to torque to 60 foot-pounds. And there is a sequence. If you follow that, you're all set. Now we'll move on. Step 10, we'll go ahead underneath. We'll install the latch pin release handle. Then we'll put the safety chain U-bolts in, and then we'll reattach our exhaust. We're going to be pretty much wrapped up. I can't stress enough how nice this setup is. You know, this just does a great job of reinforcing the bed. This is a hitch that fits flush against the bottom of the bed. You won't find that in many others. Again, following the instructions. Now, time for our latch handle. Okay, this latch pin handle slides up through a little slot. Tip it up here. Now, you got your spring arrangement here with your handle. The loop's got to go behind. And then, of course, you get the hardware in the kit, which is a 3 8 by 3 quarter coarse bolt with a lock nut. And again, it's critical if you read the instructions, the bolt goes through the loop, then into the tab. And believe me, you can do it the other way, but it's not going to work right. Get that bolted up. The next step will be the safety chain U-bolts. We'll show you how those work. You know, safety chains are really a critical part of your equipment. That's why they call them safety chains. We've got these great U-bolts here that come down that your safety chain hooks hook onto. And they're spring-loaded. they got these large tapered springs. They taper down to the bottom. Of course, the large part goes up against the bottom of the bed. Now, these are in the bed like this. When you pull them up, hook your safety chain hook on them. When you take the safety chain hook off, bang. They snap back down. They don't rattle. And they're in the uh, channel, so your bed floor is flat. It's a great way to go. And follow the instructions. Now, again, 
I keep harping on the instructions, but you got four holes on each side. On this application, you drill the two closest to the receiver on both sides. Now, these holes are going to be easy to get to. These are a little restrictive, a couple of options, because there's tailpipes in the way. A long drill bit, long half-inch drill bit, or a drill bit extender. All you can do, like I'm going to do, I'm going to put a strap on this, pull it out of my way, but drill the hole straight, that way you have nice, neat holes. These things will bolt in good, and you'll be in great shape. Once we get the hole drilled, now then we can go back and work on our exhaust. Next step is to put this bracket. Now this is a new bracket, okay? What we did was we took this bracket here, which is a factory exhaust hanger, two bolts, took it off the chassis, took this little capture nut off of this, put it on here, and you get a carriage bolt supplied in the kit. That goes in here. We stick this little hole in the frame, and we'll put a nut on it. Then we take the two stock bolts from the original hardware, and we'll go ahead and we'll put this up here. You may have to pull down the exhaust just a little bit. What this is doing, is repositioning the exhaust brings it down a little bit. That way it won't rattle against the cross members. Bang, when that's tightened up, positions the exhaust, you don't have any rattle. All right, that's it. The installation of our BMW turnover ball. This is just an unbelievable hitch. All American steel, made right here in Humboldt, Kansas. It's all powder coated. This is something you can be real proud of. Put on your customer's truck. And again, here we are with a gooseneck hitch. The bed's flat. This is how our safety chain hooks work. Those springs keep them from rattling. Does a nice job. When you're ready to tow, you pull the handle out, rotate it. The latch pin stays out. You drop your ball in. You're ready. And you got seven hitches in one. You got this gooseneck ball. You got the extended one. You've got different types of trailers from eyelets to the kingpin, all those things are available. And of course, here's another little tip. Again, it's in the instructions. And you may want to tell your customer about that. Take a little bit of lithium grease and grease the corners of this. That'll make it slide in and out nice and easy. And of course, when you show them how the handle works for the latch pin, how it latches out, one person operation. There you have it. In less than an hour, you can equip this truck with a really strong gooseneck hitch. You won't even know it's in the bed. It works great.